You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I have got your early edition spoilers for the week of October 16th through 20th on the Peacock Streaming Soap Opera. I'm going to share those all with you. I've got lots of spoilers coming for you. But first, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the remaining days this week, because you need those spoilers for context for the next week's spoilers I'm going to share with you. I'm going to run through those really quick, though, so we'll get you right into this hot new spoiler info for the early spoilers for next week. But if you haven't already, please reach down and click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. All right, let's whip through these ones for this week. Wednesday, October 11th, Brady finds a job for Tate. It's at the Brady Pub. He's got to pay back 50K worth of damages. I don't know how much clam chowder service that is for him to earn that money back, but Tate is really PO'd, doesn't want to work, and is being a totally angsty teen. Marlena grills Harris on whether he's caught feelings for Ava Vitale, and yes, I definitely think he has. Ava gets a huge break because Susan Banks tells Rafe that she is not going to press charges because now she doesn't think Ava's quite as mean, mean, mean. All right. Johnny has a night out with Chanel. Technically, it's the night in. They're enjoying movies at the Demera Mansion, but someone crashes their date. It's sorest aged up Holly Jonas, and she plops down right between Johnny and Chanel, and things get awkward. And Nicole noticed that Tate is flirting with her daughter Holly and that's not going to make her too happy. Thursday the 12th we have Sean and Belle arguing about their marriage where it's going all the problems this is going to be a mess we do know that Martha Madison is leaving soon as Belle Black and I have heard chatter that the one male actor that was axed during the (laughs) the bad regime that fired a bunch of people may be Brandon Beamer or Sean Brady but I don't have confirmation on that but that's what I've heard. Justin talks with Alex about the future of Titan Industries. He's not very happy that his son fired Maggie, but oh well. Brady Black has some things to say to Alex as well. He's very upset for him just walking out without notice on Basic Black to run Titan. And Victor Kitiakis's tavern owner pal from Greece, Constantine, shows up to see Maggie. I love John Capello, so any scene time he has is always fun. Kate warns Philip Kitiakis about Chloe Lane. She is not happy that they are planning to leave town together. She's going to remind him that the last time he got involved with Chloe, he framed Brady for murder and then went off the deep end. They had to get him all this intensive inpatient therapy. So of course she's worried about these red flags. Philip is still determined to go. Philip goes over and tells Belle that he's moving to NYC with Chloe and Chloe goes to say goodbye to Brady. They are leaving town. We do know that Nadia Borland was one of the actresses impacted by the cuts and John Paul Lavois say uh, only came back to play Philip for a very short run just for Victor's funeral and to escort Nadia out of town. All right, so Friday, October 13th, Harris gets closer to Ava. EJ finds out more about what his mom has been through while he thought she was dead. And Xander hires Sloan to help fight his custody battle. And they get together to strategize about how he could actually win full custody of his daughter, Victoria. Eric freaks out when he finds out that Sloan took on Xander as a client, but Sarah actually chills out about Xander a bit when she finds out Susan Banks is alive. And Tripp talks to his mom about his relationship with Wendy and her blossoming relationship with Harris. All right, now let's dig into what we have for October 16th through the 20th. On Monday the 16th, Chad Demera takes a step back from Stephanie Johnson. She is being super nice, even though her feelings are hurt, because she's basically playing full-time stepmom to his two kids, but Chad's attitude is, I'm not ready for marriage. That's fair. I mean, Abigail has been gone like a slightly less than a year and a half. I think he said 16 months the other day. And, you know, Abigail was the love of his life. They had problems, but, you know, he and Stephanie seemed to be getting on great. But him taking a step back from her could open the door for Alex, even though right now Alex is falling prey to crazy Teresa Donovan. Tuesday. 
Tuesday, October 17th, Harris Michaels pitches a job to someone. I don't know if that's a job that he's going to do, if it's a career thing or just a one-off. I'm very curious about that. And Bell Black issues a warning to Talia Hunter, and we are going to see Talia making a decision about her future. She will be leaving town. Akitra Civilian is another of the actresses that was axed by Days of Our Lives. Wednesday, October 18th, we have Paulina looking for help from her friend, Dr. Marlena Evans, and Abe Carver opens up to John Black. So I wonder if that means that they're date maybe didn't go as well as Paulina was hoping. Remember, Abe was really worried about that. Thursday, October 19th, we've got scenes with little Leo Stark and Dimitri von Leuschner, or as I prefer to call him, Dimitri von Douchebag, because he's really horrible. They are trying to find a way out of the mess that they are in. Dimitri has been shot by Vivian Alamein, and he is under arrest for threatening to kill Gabby and Stefan. So this is a very messy situation. Leo loves him. Dimitri says he loves Leo, but things are looking pretty dim for them. However, we do know that Peter Porta, who plays Dimitri, is on contract, so I think something's going to work out. I'm just not sure how yet. Friday, October 20th, we have Justin Kidiakis giving Sarah Horton some, some information, a reality check of sorts. I think that Sarah has asked him about the custody case that's coming her way because Xander has hired Sloan Peterson. So I think she is going to ask Justin to rep her in the case. Maybe he will. Even though Xander is a Kitiakis and it certainly seems like a conflict of interest, things like that don't matter much in Salem. We also have Alex making Teresa Donovan an offer. I wonder if he's going to hire that nutbag to work for him or if this is just an offer to warm his sheets. She's certainly interested in doing that. All right, that is everything we have for you in this early edition for the 16th through the 20th. Be sure to come back soon for a full, huge roster of weekly spoilers plus two-week spoilers, casting news, and more. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe, click a like if you enjoyed this early edition, and definitely drop your comments on what you are excited to see next week. And as always, thanks for tuning in and talking soaps with me. I love talking soaps with you guys. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 